Okay, friends, this here is what I affectionately refer to as my dungeon gym. This is where I work out. I love this place. It's in my garage, but um, I love it because it's not heated, which means it's always cold when I first get down here. I love it because it's full of spiders and centipedes and nasty crawlies and it's dirty and it's yucky. And uh, to me, it is like the perfect um, antidote to the softness, the nauseating softness and weakness of the modern world and um it's kind of where i come to get back in touch with a different part of myself and uh, yeah and so the reason why i'm showing this though is not as an end in itself i am showing it because <laughs> um it feeds into something i've been wanting to talk about for a while and haven't simply because I'm fully aware. Number one, I don't really like talking a whole lot just about myself or about my ideas or whatever. It's kind of boring to me. But also, I mean, I no illusions. This channel was built on me interviewing other people. And um, I'm people come to this channel for me as an interviewer, which is all cool. But um, I mean, that's why I built the channel. That was the whole purpose. But at the same time, every once in a while, I'd like to share something of myself. And uh, this is an insight that just helps me and I think maybe could help other people. Um, not help, maybe just a reminder or whatever. But, um, you know, like I said, I come down here to get escape from the the fakeness and the softness of the modern world. I mean, there's, there's nothing fake about snatching an 80-pound dumbbell. There's nothing fake about busting your ass on a heavy bag. There's nothing fake about, uh, I mean, look at this guy doing pull-ups until it can no longer even hang from the bar and you spend the next couple of days in beautiful pain there's something magical about that and there's something restorative about it and there's something just real and it gets you away from all the bs all the bs man people of these flawed sometimes intentionally deceitful human beings that we call our friends and brothers and sisters and I don't mean that as an insult I mean I'm, I'm part of it too I'm in the mix with all of you like I always say I'm just another dude in the trenches just like all of you I'm not trying to put myself above or apart I'm just saying we all we all deal with these things and for me you know prayer helps meditation helps um reading holy books helps reading the bible of course Reading these things helps, but you know what else helps is just getting down into the fucking dungeon gym and lifting some fucking weights and punching a heavy bag and getting dirty and feeling the cold. And uh, I don't know, man. It, to me, uh, the, the, I thought of making a video of this subject for a while and it was going to be titled something like uh, Sometimes Push Up is Worth More Than a Prayer or something like that. Um, intentionally a little bit. Um, inflammatory as so i know a lot of people would say what i mean to be clear i do believe that the the primary aim of all of us on earth is self-mastery and self-discipline and part of that is well i mean the main aspect of that is cultivating a relationship with the divine with god with understanding our purpose here in this world and understanding creation and doing our best to align with that but um you know what? Along that journey, there is something to be said for getting into a dirty, dirty gym and lifting weights and punching things and uh, feeling the visceral, the visceral um, rush of endorphins and being exhausted. And uh, yeah, man, just. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's just about the body, it's about the spirit too. To me, it honestly is what I would call something like a spiritual experience. Not every time I work out, obviously, but um this aspect of life, this just getting getting dirty and gritty and getting into it and working out and feeling the body and reconnecting with that primal part of ourselves, to me that is part of this journey of this thing that you know, sometimes we call the spiritual path. Some people prefer just self-improvement, self-development, um, you know, whatever it is, man. This thing, I got this big old sucker for doing swings. I use this to do a good burnout set at the end of my back days. I love this kettlebell. Kettlebells are awesome. But, um, 
Anyway, yeah, man. Good old medicine ball. I love, I love just simple, simple devices, simple things. Once again, it grounds me in the simplicity of a more um, cleaner and untarnished way of life. A way of life where you know the snake, you, you know the snake is trying to ambush you because it is literally a snake and you can see the snake and you know that's my enemy. I need to watch out for that snake. Not like in the modern world where things are so gray and muddled and it's so hard to discern things sometimes. So hard to discern friend from foe. So hard to discern truth from narrative, um, fact from fiction. In this in this crazy topsy turvy world, I just find a lot of solace in here and um, and working out. I also love working out outside as well. I'm not really big into. Um, I definitely don't like fitness classes. Nothing wrong with them. Totally cool if that's your thing. Just just not my thing. And I don't really like the big nice gyms in general. I like I like dirty stuff like this. I like being with the cold and the spiders. And, uh, or being outside and feeling the sun or, or the rain or the wind or whatever on my face, whatever it is. It's that primal thing, man. It's that primal thing of reconnecting with that part of ourself, part of myself. And um, if any of you out there feel, I think it's probably mostly men. Um, this isn't trying to be sexist, but just knowing the men that I know in my life, knowing the women that I know in my life, I think this is probably more of a male thing. And um, I'm just moving the camera because just standing someplace and holding the camera in one place feels weird. But... Um, I mean, we'll hold it on Bob, though. I love Bob. Bob's a great workout tool. But, um, yeah, man, that's it, I guess. Just if you're a man and you're feeling something missing, <laughs> it may not be any grand thing that you need, man. You might just need to get yourself a medicine ball, a nice um, spot outside to work out in, no matter what the weather in. I think you will actually find that working out in the crappy weather is best. Or if you have the uh, the type of home that um, facilitates a dungeon gym, such as the one I've put together, make yourself a dungeon gym, man. It, um, I'm telling you, it will reconnect you. It will bring you back to your roots. It will make you feel whole and human. Make you feel free. And in this day and age, uh, feelings of freedom are very important because I believe there are people trying to take it away. So that's it, man. That's all I wanted to say. Peace out.